today is February 4th. February 4th, 1.57 in the morning. And today is February 4th. We are already a month into the year. And I just want to say, if you made it this far into the year, let's just thank God right now because it's a blessing. I know I'm happy and I'm grateful that I made it this far. I'm saying this far like it's that deep into the year, but it really is that deep because there's people that left in the first week of the year, bless their souls, but we got a lot of time for the people that feel like they running out of time. You right on time, I'm telling you right now, you're right on time. You don't have to worry about not being where you want to be because you're getting there and it really just takes patience like as long as you're patient and willing to put in the discipline that's needed to get where you want to be you can get there by the end of the year or whenever your goal is so for me, like I started the year off with a lot of goals, like so many. And I already had made my vision board a couple months before, so I'm still sticking to that. But I ended up writing everything that I knew that I that I know I'm going to achieve this year, I wrote it all down, very descriptive and detailed, as if I already had it, like, I wrote it down, like, it's already literally in my life, and when you do that, you can't just write and be like, okay, it's going to come to me, when you write it down, you have to envision it, and also, now you have to live your life like you already got it, so, when you do that, the God, the universe, you know, whatever you believe is going to notice it and it's going to start to give it to you. And, but you have to actually live it, live it out. Like you gotta be delusional, delusion maniacal like insane but that works like it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna happen um so i wrote everything out right and now i'm like okay it's a month into the year and some of this stuff my plan is like low-key changing it's a month into the year and i'm like dang some of this stuff i don't want to do or some of this stuff i want to do in a different way but that's not a bad thing. If you get into it and then your plans start to change, that's when you got to start to, like, start to adjust to your growth because now you're growing at that point. When your plans start to change or get better, it don't mean that what you wanted before is out the window. It's just you have to now adjust to the new mindset that has evolved since you made that initial step. So now what I'm going to do is, because my plans are changing, but it's still on the same path. It's just the plans are changing. So now I have to go back and read everything that I wrote December 31st. And then I'm going to rewrite it to fit the new plans and it's not like everything changes just some things and it's gonna like once you write it out and you read it every day you need to read it as much as possible really like i will say every day or every other day at least or whenever you feel like you like getting off track you need to read it again and 
when you do that, that's going to help continue to grow the seed that you already planted in your mind. That's like watering it when you continue to read and envision everything that you have planned out. That's going to also help you get there because, and it's not going to be easy, like, it's going to be a challenge, but that's the beauty in it because when you challenge yourself, it, well, for me, it just makes it so much better, but when you challenge yourself, it's going to allow you to be more grateful and appreciative when what you want comes. Because you know how hard, you know all the work that you put in to get to that point. And it's going to feel so good when you finally achieve that one thing that you want to achieve. Or, excuse me, um, more than one thing. It could be however many things. Um, so... Write, read what you write, envision what you write, and live what you write. And God is going to bless, bless, bless you. And treat people right and treat yourself right so you can get it. Um, so really, this message is... about believing and knowing that whatever you want you can get you might have to change you might have to ch you're gonna have to change a lot if it's not aligned with you're literally gonna have to change your identity to become the person that is supposed to have what's in your the vision that's in your mind for yourself so you might have to isolate yourself from people you might have to start eating differently you might have to start doing like changing your sleep schedule you might have to start um doing many different things that you're not comfortable doing but the uncomfortableness is what's going to get you far being comfortable is going to keep you exactly where you are so if you want change then you got to go get it. You have to literally grow into it. And grieve the old you. Like, the old you that was not, that's not aligned with the person you are on a journey to become. You have to grieve that person. Like, you're going to have to cry. You're going to have to become detached from the old habits and the old mindset people that's not aligned with it like you're gonna have to like literally remove, remove a lot of stuff from your life but that's like that is a part of life right like that's the beauty so don't feel bad if you have to do that like because watch in a couple months when you start you're gonna see the difference and you're gonna be so grateful you're gonna be like wow i'm so proud of myself i really made it this far like three months ago i was doing this now i'm doing this you're gonna be kind of mind blown so grieve the old you build new habits destroy old toxic habits we are building healthy habits all 2024 and be open to a new identity be open to a new journey of life and just allow god to work through you surrender and you're going to see the blessings pour. You're gonna, <laughs> the blessings pour into you. 
But okay. Um, continue to be blessed. Work on yourself. Feed your soul. And do not give up on your mind. And you're going to be exactly where you want to be. I love you. And stay blessed.